pretty straightforward job. You know, you guys have seen me pressure wash concrete before. It's one of my favorite things to do just because it's so mindless. I throw on a podcast on the headphones. I think I'm going to do a YouTube video on what I like to listen to while I'm pressure washing because I listen to all kind of stuff. That's one of my favorite parts about doing the pressure washing jobs is because I get to listen to like podcasts. I get to look and listen to audiobooks. I get to listen to music. So it's just very mindless work and it's just something that I enjoy about doing the business. Quote IQ has teamed up with the window cleaning resource to give away a window cleaning business starter kit. All you have to do is download Quote IQ on the Apple or the Google Play Store, and you have to become a premium or platinum subscriber to be entered to win. Be sure to check out the WCR for all your window cleaning needs. We are going to be announcing the winner on August 1st. So in this video, I'll be using the wand and the service cleaner. My buddy Austin, who watches my videos, which is kind of weird because I, in the beginning, I didn't really want friends to know that I was making these videos, but anyway, he watches the videos. He loves when I say wand, so I'm giving him a shout out and saying wand for him in this video. Um, now, one of the main questions I've been getting is, as you guys can see right here, people have been asking me, how do you prevent the dirt from coming up when you're pressure washing like next to grass? And I'll probably make a separate video on this. Oh, check this out right here. I did this in slow-mo because watch, I, flew, I flung some dirt right onto the camera, like a whole water glob hit the camera pretty cool i thought i'd include it and the water glob's gonna stay there for a second as i just finish up this pathway but it will be gone in just a second i promise um anyway as i was saying people have been asking me how do you stop the dirt from coming up um when you're pressure washing near the grass i'm gonna do a separate video on this like i said um but there's basically a tool that you can get the tool costs 80 or 90 dollars but it blocks the water from the grass line now i wouldn't buy it just because I, it doesn't bother me that much, you know what I mean? I'll just pressure wash everything and then wash it again to get all the dirt off of it. But for some people, it seems to really bother them. So I will make a separate video with a link to the tool so you guys can grab that. If you want to look it up yourself, you can just look up, I'm not even sure what it would be called, grass dirt blocker. I'm not sure. Um, so with the remaining time in the video, what I want to do is I want to answer some questions that I get through my Instagram DMs. Um, I'm not very good at responding to DMs because honestly, I hate texting. Um, as you guys know, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consultations. I know that people DM me for small questions. So I'm going to start trying to answer some of these small questions in these videos, in these job recaps. So first one is from Perez Goes Ham. Perez says, hey bro, love the YouTube channel. I own a pressure washing business myself. Was wondering how you prevent the dirt from splashing up. I just covered that um, just now, which is funny. Uh, like I said, I've been getting that question a lot lately. Um, so like I said, there is a tool that you can use um, to block the dirt. If anybody knows the tool, please leave the link to the video in the comment section of this video. So that way um, I can just use it for the video because i forgot exactly what it's called but someone sent it to me before the next one is i seen your youtube video and i was curious where did you make your flyers and how much did it cost i had flyers made and i paid over 200 dollars. what i use is vistaprint um if you guys go watch my video i just used the template off of vistaprint i made a video called um best flyer strategies to get more business it's got all my tips and tricks for flyers and there's different packages that you can get but the cool thing with Vistaprint is they always have coupon codes so you can find like a 20 40 percent off coupon code on Vistaprint and I think their prices are you know about the same as this I can't remember exactly what I paid for the flyers but when I buy them I usually buy them in bulk I usually buy like 1500 flyers nowadays I've been getting my business through Facebook so I don't really use them as much anymore but yeah, so that's what I would say. Vistaprint is the best place to get flyers.